you feel? Hello, hello, hello. You are in the healing room. You are in the right place at the right time for the right word. Yes. Amen. It was not an accident. You come on in, share with your friends, share with your family. Share, share hit the share button. Because this is the only way that we will be able to help someone else. We can't keep all this information to ourselves. We have to share it with our friends. And what is the quickest and easiest way to share? Facebook, share. <laughs> this is Minister yes, Curtis. It is. And I'm Minister Issa. And we come from the Alta International Church where we are under the great, 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 great Apostle Gene Gene August. August. Yes, Amen. yes. And the address is 8039D, mm -hmm. Penn Randall Place, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, 20772. Mm -hmm. This weekend, we are having our first annual festival. Harvest Festival. Harvest Festival. Harvest Festival this Saturday. So we invite you to come out and fellowship with us. Come have fun. We're going to have food. We're going to have moon bounces for the kids. We're going to have games for the adults and for the kids. We're going to have a lot, a lot of fun. So we want you all to come out and fellowship with us. The address is 8039 Unit D, Upper Marlboro, Maryland, 20772. All right. First annual Harvest Fest at the Alton International Church. Come out and join us. Get to meet us. Get to meet our other leaders. Get to meet the members. Get to maybe possibly meet the apostle. Amen. Amen. So come on out and have food, fun, and fellowship this Saturday. Amen. Oh, we didn't say time. Time is 1 to 4. 1 to 4. If you can get there early, get there early. Amen. Amen. Uh, we might as well pray because before <laughs> we even say a word, yes, we need to pray. Absolutely. And we always pray before we present the word because we never want to yes. say this word in our carnal state because it wouldn't mean anything. We want to That's right. you know, clear the path so that when we plant the seeds that it will be received very well. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Amen. Father, Lord, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you right now again, oh, Heavenly Father, to magnify you, Lord. We come, yes. oh, Heavenly Father, to touch the hearts, minds, and souls, oh, Heavenly Father. Amen. But, Lord, as we speak this word, oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we're asking, oh, Heavenly Father, that you will edify the kingdom, oh, Heavenly Father, with this word. Touch yes. the people right where they are, oh, Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. And, Lord, no matter where they are, oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, you said that we shall go on the highways and byways and touch the hearts of the people. Mm -hmm. And we ask all these things in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, everybody, get out your swords, get out your Bible app, open your laptops, get your Bible out. We're going to be coming from Galatians chapter 6. We're going to cover verses 7 through 10. All right? All right. Follow all right. us as we read along. Greetings to Andre Harris. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Andre. Yes. Hey, evangelist. All right. Here we go now. Galatians uh, 6, mm -hmm. um, 7, through, 7 10. through 10. Do not be deceived. God is not marked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. That's right. For the one who sows to his own flesh... Mm -hmm will from the flesh reap corruption. Mm -hmm. But the one who sows to the spirit will from the spirit reap eternal life. That's right. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season mm -hmm. we will reap if we do not give up. So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone and especially to those who are at the household of faith. My That's Lord, right. that is a blessing right there. Let me tell y'all, Let's check this out from the beginning. It says, do not be deceived. Mm -hmm. God is not mocked for whatever one sows that will also reap. Right. And, and basically, you know, on the streets, it say, you know what? You got karma. You got karma coming to you. You know, whatever you do, it come back to you double fold, this, yes. that, no. Yes. Well, the same thing applies, but this is from a believer standpoint. Mm -hmm. And this is basically saying... Do not be deceived by God. God is, you can't mock God. Mm -hmm. You can't be going around talking about, man, I don't believe in God and this, that, and other. And then you turn nah. around 30 seconds later and talking about, oh my God. See, you cannot do that. You cannot play with God. That's right. God is for real. Mm -hmm. God is the alpha. God was there when there was nothing but darkness. That's right. And he addressed the darkness and said, let there be light. Yes, and so, you know, God has, is almighty and God knows all and our mm -hmm. thinking and our minds cannot conceive what God knows because God right. knows it all. That's God right. knows every inch of the, of the earth. He knows every inch or uh, how much hair you have on your head. God yes. knows all of these things. Mm -hmm. And so we have to continuously 
stay in the word so that we're able to touch each and every one of us. And we got to touch each other. We got to continue to sharpen iron, sharpen right. iron. And we have to continue to hold each other accountable yes. because this is what is important in the body of Christ. You cannot deceive God. You have to be on your A game mm -hmm. because God is the alpha. He knows it all. That's right. Absolutely. Apostle Paul was talking. I always come serious, don't I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There you go. Apostle Paul was talking to the church of Galatia. He was telling them, as a body of Christ, we ought to support one another. We're supposed to love one another as we love ourselves. So he's telling them in the beginning of chapter 6, you ought to help one another. If you see a brother in need, help that brother in need. If you're getting good teacher from your pastor, from your apostle, whoever it is teaching you, you ought to help them whatever their material needs are, whatever their physical needs oh, are. Man. They are worthy of their work. They're supposed to be compensated for the work that they do. Now, if you're just getting a good word and you running off with it, you're a spiritual hoarder because oh, now man. you're not supporting your pastor or your apostle. You're supposed to sow into their life. They are worthy of the wages. Amen? So Paul was telling us we're supposed to do those things. We're supposed to help support the teachers of the gospel. We're supposed to support one another when we are in need. We're not supposed to act as if we never need anybody. We don't need any help. All of us need help. Come on, and man. so you can't deny it when someone else needs help and you see that they need help. Apostle Paul is telling us we're supposed to step in and help them financially. Amen. And so also um, here it says, for the one who sows to his own flesh mm -hmm. will uh, from the flesh yes. reap corruption, That's but right. the one who sows to the spirit mm -hmm. will from the spirit reap eternal life. Okay, now yeah. let's let's kind of make this live. Now, now Paul, Apostle Paul, mm -hmm. we, we're going to say that he's the farmer. Mm -hmm. And so he's going and he's planting seeds. Mm -hmm. He's planting seeds into soil. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the seeds will reap the, the benefits to it depending on the soil. That's right. And whether it's good soil or not. Mm -hmm. And so in the beginning... Uh, God said that he, he 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 took the dirt and he put the dirt together and he blew into the nostrils and that's how Adam came about. So yes. we can say that we are all soil. We are all real estate because yes. we come from the dirt, right? right. And so right. and so what happens is is this. Here you 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 get the seed, mm -hmm. you need the water, mm -hmm. you need the sun. That's right. And, and you need some time because yes. it takes all of these things. When you start planting a harvest, it takes about four months mm -hmm. before you start reaping benefits yes. from what you plant. Absolutely. Okay, so now when I said sun, I was talking about the sun in the sky and I was talking about it benefiting the land. But when you're talking about the believer's perspective, now yes. you're talking about the sun. Yes. You're talking about Jesus. Yes. And so yes. you need that in, in your life right. so that you're able to... to Tear out the old man and bring in the new. But you got to have a seed inside of you. That's right. You got to have somebody watering you. Mm -hmm. That's what the Apostle Paul was doing. He was watering the seed. That's right. And so our body is, is two-thirds water. So mm -hmm. we have to continue to water our body right. with the word so that we are able to bring a harvest. Mm -hmm. Now, see, some people, like I said right here, it says that some of them, was sowing to their own flesh. Okay, yeah. now that's what you call GMO, genetically modified, Gen Gen genetically <laughs> modified <laughs> organ. So, yeah. so, so, what I'm saying is, is that it ain't the real deal. It's, it's, it's yeah. not, it's not a real harvest. Yeah. This is an artificial harvest. Mm -hmm. This is, this is, this is fake. This, you, you know how you got macaroni and cheese, and then you got. Macaroni and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This, this ain't the Kraft's macaroni and cheese. This is the know, real yeah. deal <laughs> macaroni and cheese that you put in the oven. And and and, and you know what I'm saying? Okay. Where, where am I going with it, huh? That's, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> it's good. You got to be real. It has okay. to be real. It has to be authentic. Oh, Go ahead. Jesus, my Lord. My Lord. What he's saying is. When you sow into yourself, that's the selfish game. That's having, have, thinking what Paul said right here. It says, if someone, if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, Come on, he man. deceives himself. Come on, so man. now you're worried about yourself. You're more into self-gratification 
and you're not sowing into other things, you're not sowing into other people, you're not sowing into business, you're not sowing into the kingdom, you're only sowing into yourself, you're sowing into the things you eat, the things you buy, and all of those things don't last, they don't last at all, but when you sow into the kingdom of God, you receive eternal life, and that's what Paul was trying to tell us here, when we sow into the kingdom of God, we will get our crown of glory. We get the victory. We get the victory of heaven. We get we win the victory. So God is, is allowing us to sow properly. So now there's different ways that you can sow a seed. Right now we're talking about harvesting, harvesting food. So perhaps you may have planted a seed of watermelon and a pumpkin came up. Right. Now you're not getting what you expected to get when you planted that seed. But when you plant that seed into good ground, when you plant it into something you know is going to produce fruit. Then you will get that watermelon that you planted for. Amen. So Paul is trying to tell us to plant properly, to uh, to sow properly, and you will reap properly. Now, if you sowing uh, seeds of discourse to people, if you if you sowing gossip to people, then you're going to lose friendships. If you sowing angriness to people, then people are not going to want to be around you. There's many different ways you can sow a seed in this life. And so Apostle Paul was using the financial way, but he was also using the seed of life, showing us that when we put things out, whatever we put out, we're going to get back. Like we said, karma, it comes back to you, amen? So, you know, the thing people say, what goes around comes around. Well, what you reap is what you sow, amen? What you put out there is what you're going to get back. Amen. And so right here also it says, and let us not grow weary mm -hmm. of doing good for in due season, yes. we will reap if we do not give up. That's and right. so, so often... We will sow into something, mm -hmm. and because it did not manifest right. when we wanted it to, mm -hmm. now it doesn't have to do anything with God. We think of in our carnal mind, yeah. well, you know what? I did this for so long, mm -hmm. and nothing came of it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I helped this person for so long, and, and, and they turned their back on me and walked away, and I sold into somebody, something that was dead. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, it's a possibility that you could have sold mm -hmm. into somebody that was dead. Mm -hmm. However... Let's say that you have sold into somebody that was good yeah. and it may have not been their season mm -hmm. to return it, That's but right. you sold it to them and they got on their feet. And yes. one day you was not in your best place, but That's they right. came and said, I remember you yes. when you sold it to me and I didn't have, mm -hmm. you didn't get mad. You didn't get discouraged. Mm -hmm. You stayed with me. So here you have right here, mm -hmm. I'm going to sow into your, your, your bosom. I'm going to mm -hmm. sow into your ministry. I'm going to sow into the things that you do. Yes. And so even though it may have been five years ago, mm -hmm. 10 years ago, whatever, but it came back when you needed it. And that's yes. what's most important. That's and we right. have to continue to, to remember that when we sowing, we doing it from the heart. We're not right. doing it to show we're not doing it to go and tell our friends, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm taking care of so and so over here, yeah. and, and 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 look at them and this that. It ain't about your flesh. It's about doing things quietly. And mm -hmm. so often we have people out here that are millionaires, and they go and they sow it to people, and we never hear about it until that person comes along mm -hmm. years later and say, hey. This person sold into me when I did not have, That's and right. the, and the person that sold into it yeah. never said a word. They mm -hmm. never wanted the accolades. They wanted to do it from their heart, that's and right. that's what it's all about. When you are giving mm -hmm. to people from your heart, when your heart is that's good, right. when you when you're saying, you know what, that's I know you ain't on your feet, and I might not have two nickels to rub together, mm -hmm. but I tell you what. At least I can able I can take you to the grocery store yes. and, and buy you a few things that sustain right. you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can give you a ride to work. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can I can uh, uh, help your kids and give give my kids clothes to your kids yes. until you're able to sustain yourself. That's and right. that's what we're talking about. We're talking about when we sow in mm -hmm. and not looking for a return, mm -hmm. but the return comes because our heart is that's right. good. That's right. And that's what it's all about. Your heart being good, that's but right. do not be weary because God will elevate you. And that's let right. me, let me explain this to you. So often oh, we hold on to things like, for instance, <laughs> yes. we'll have clothes that we don't even wear. That's right. It's taking up the closet space. Yes. Well, how do you expect God to bless you that's right. if you don't make room that's right. for what you have? You Come take, you, you, right. you, you take them clothes, mm -hmm. move them clothes out the way, 
Give them to somebody, that's sow right. it into somebody, right. sow it into somebody that's homeless or something that need to go on a job interview or something like that. That's right. And guess what? Ooh, God will bless ooh, you ooh, where 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 ooh. somebody will give you yes. money or give you clothes mm -hmm. to replace what you had given away. That's right. <laughs> you done said it all. I was getting ready to go to that scripture. Sometimes it's discouraging when you sow it into a person or you sow it into a, a specific situation and you don't get a thank you. You don't get a I appreciate you. It's discouraging. But like my husband said, the Bible says, don't be weary in your well-doing for in due time you shall reap a harvest. And like I said earlier, that harvest is the crown of victory in heaven. Come Amen. On, God already knows what you've done. He sees what you do in secret and he will reward you in the open for all that you do for somebody else. For when you plant into somebody else, when you sow into somebody else, when you sow into a corporation, when you sow into the kingdom, God sees what you do when you do it in secret. Amen. Amen. And so he will bless you for that. You will get the crown that Paul is talking about here. He said, therefore, as we have our opportunity let us do good to all people especially to those who belong to the family of believers the family of believers is the church those who believe in jesus christ so everything we do we ought to do it as if we're doing it for the lord and Come when on, we man. do that we can't go wrong we're, we're yeah. saying in the spirit of jesus christ we stand in the spirit of who his character what his character is amen we're supposed to be in the character of christ so when we do that we are doing good. We are doing what Paul is telling us to do. Amen. Amen. And I mean, it's just, it's just, mm -hmm. your heart has to be right. Yes. You, 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 your heart has to be right. And as mm -hmm. long as your heart is right, right, you don't have to worry about the karma. That's you right. can deal with things with clean hands mm -hmm. because so often what will happen is, is that we, 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 if we get our carnal ways involved, yeah. we, we will mess it up. That's we right. will, we will become part of the flesh and not part of the spirit. That's right. So it's just easy mm -hmm. to, to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Go and, and, and love your brother and love your sister. And what you can do for him, you do it for him. That's right. What you can't do, you can't do. Right. However, if you do it in love. That's right. That's if you right. do it in love, mm -hmm. the return is so mighty and so great. And it doesn't matter because just like our apostle tells us, mm -hmm. sometimes our children will sit down and eat. Yes. And it is a good meal, and they will get up, and they won't even say thank, you. Say so, thank you. So, so yeah, if you're yeah. looking for thank you, yes, you're looking in the wrong place. Don't That's look right. for thank you because yes. the whole thing is is to do it with your heart and think nothing of it. That's right. Keep it moving. Absolutely. Keep going. You know, but don't be weary because you're doing good because. Good will overcome evil. That's right. Love will overcome hate. That's right. You have to continuously walk this walk. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes, I know it can be discouraging when you're doing good. Mm -hmm. And you're not, when you do good for somebody else and yes. you're not doing good for yourself, mm -hmm. that right there, sometimes That's it right. hurts. Mm -hmm. However, when it hurts, as long as you're doing it with a good heart, say, you know what? That's right. I'm willing to do that for that person because guess what? They would do it for me. That's right. Ida says, what you getting from God is better than your tax return. Come on now. Absolutely. It's better than your tax return. Sometimes, you know, Apostle Paul is not telling you to sow your, your, your rent money. And our apostle tell us that all the time. God never said, sow your rent money, sow your electric bill money. He's not telling you to do that. He's telling you to sow your extra. What you have in reserve is what you sow. Amen. He don't want you to go broke doing it. God wish that we all prosper and be in good health as our soul prosper. So he doesn't want you to be broke. He wants you to be rich. He wants you to enjoy the nice things in life. But he also wants you to sow into the kingdom. And so that's what he wants us to do with people. We don't want you to sow everything that you have because then you have nothing and that's what not that's not what God requires us to do and that's what Pastor Paul is telling us sow what you can we're not asking you to sow everything sow what you can into a person and if you can't sow if you don't financially have it to sow sow it to the church with your time time is sowing go in and clean up go in and clean the bathroom clean the sanctuary whatever it is you can do for the kingdom go clean the parking lot where y'all park your cars Sell into the kingdom however you can, and God will reward you openly. Amen? Amen. And it is just so happened. I'm glad you said that. I was going to yes. talk about when you don't have, mm -hmm. 
That doesn't mean it's, it's an opportunity for you to walk around and say, you know, I ain't got no money. Yes. You you, you know, I, no, that's not the opportunity to that's say right. that. That is an opportunity when you can be a problem solver, when you can see a need yes. and step in mm -hmm. and, and, and donate your time mm -hmm. because your time is money. Yes. And somebody will sit back and they will see, mm -hmm. you know what? They may not have no money right. or they may not have this or they may not have that, but they are willing to come in. Mm -hmm. And, and help out where it is needed. That's right. You can be pouring into people, even though you may not have money, mm -hmm. you may be able to be pour into people. Yes. Sometimes we save lives by our testimony. That's right. And our testimony does not come with, with a price tag like, okay, it's an exchange. Yes. It comes with, hey, look, this is what's going on. I see that you have this issue. Yeah. I've had that issue before. Mm -hmm. And this is the way that I saw that. Not saying my way is right, mm -hmm. but this is the solution mm -hmm. and it may work for you. Yes, absolutely. I is saying like when those guys forgot Joseph in the prison after he helped them with those dreams. Yes, they did. They completely left out for years and forgot about Joseph until the, 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 the king needed somebody to interpret his own dreams. And then that's when they decided to go get him and bring him out to assist him. They forgot all about Joseph in the jail. He's sitting in there for years and years and years like, man, I helped these people and they completely forgot all about me after I told them when you get out, remember me. Come on, they man. forgot him. He sold into them. He interpreted their dreams and the interpretation came to manifestation. And so when somebody does something for you or when you've done something for somebody, you're not going to always get the immediate uh, reaction. You're not going to always get the re immediate reward from what it is you've done. So sometimes we just got to be humble, be patient, and just be obedient and sow into the kingdom of God instead of sowing into uh not good soil but soil that well there's a parable yeah there's a parable about sowing seeds the thorns and then the hard uh ground and then it's this the good soil on, you want to sow into the good soil the people who take the word they get the word they understand the word they use it and become fruitful in the world that's where we want to sow we want to sow into those people we want to sow into those things those things that are going to manifest in other people's lives amen amen I mean, um, I think we we covered the text. Mm -hmm. uh, we were we for the people that came in late. We were in Galatians six, Amen. seven through ten. Yes, and we were just talking about reaping and sowing, yes. and that's and, and and it's so relevant. Yes, I mean, some people call it karma, but it's so relevant because mm -hmm. each and every day we're reaping. And, and we're, we're sowing. sowing. Yes, we are. We're sowing into something. Mm -hmm. Whether we're sowing into our, our, our fashion, mm -hmm. we're sowing into our house. Our stomachs. Our stomachs. That's right. But most importantly, sow into your soul. Sow yes. into your spirit. Yes. So that you are able mm -hmm. to have everlasting life. That's the most important thing. That's right. I mean, because all of these things will go. Mm -hmm. They will not stay with us. All That's the clothes, right. mm -hmm. all the shoes, all the cars, mm -hmm. all the houses. None of these things will stay, That's but right. everlasting life will always stay. So if this word has blessed you, Amen. please go to www.prayertimewiththeapostle.com mm -hmm. slash donation. Yes. Because there's no nation like a donation, y'all. There's no nation like a donation, y'all. <laughs> Amen. 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 Remember, the seed has to die before it can grow. Amen. Amen. So be patient when you sow your seed because in due time you shall reap a harvest. Amen. Amen. We bless God for y'all. Remember we have in the Harvest Festival this Saturday at 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. 8039 Unity Upper Marlboro, Maryland 20772 and also this Friday Miracle Friday at the Alta International Church at 6 30 p.m. We invite you all to come out and fellowship with us and experience all the wonders of the Lord that we experience when we walk into that house. Amen. So God bless you. We thank God for you. Visit us tomorrow night at 8.30. We be back tomorrow, y'all. 8.30 tomorrow night. Remember, love on your family, love on your friends because love bears all things. We love y'all. There's nothing you can do about it. God bless you. Good night. <laughs>